March 11, 2011. A 9.1 magnitude earthquake centered approximately 45 miles off the coast of Miyagi Prefecture initiates a tsunami that reaches a height of 133 feet. Four nuclear power plants situated along the coast of the Tohoku region. The Onagawa plant in Miyagi Prefecture. The Tokai plant in Ibaraki Prefecture. And two plants in Fukushima Prefecture are flooded by the tsunami. The crews at the first two plants quickly shut down their reactors. At the two nuclear power plants in Fukushima, however, the cooling systems are crippled. The crew of the number two Fukushima plant require the following four days to properly cool and deactivate their reactors. At the number one Fukushima plant, insufficient cooling leads to catastrophic problems. Three of the reactors suffer meltdown. Several explosions of hydrogen gas occur throughout the plant, and thousands of metric tons of radioactive wastewater seep into the soil and spill into the Pacific Ocean. Approximately 300,000 residents are forced to evacuate the surrounding area. And amidst the chaos, over 1,600 die from what has come to be known as evacuation stress, a higher casualty rate, in fact, than the combined death tolls of the earthquake and tsunami themselves. The World Health Organization reports that an additional 130 to 600 people will likely die of cancer caused by the radiation in the coming decades. Following the Chernobyl accident of April 1986, the Fukushima incident is considered to be the second worst nuclear disaster in world history. On the international nuclear event scale, it rates a 7, the worst possible rating which indicates serious health and environmental effects from widespread contamination. The Tokyo Electric Power Company, TEPCO, which oversees the nuclear power plant, has offered two public apologies. Once in July 2012 for its failure to meet basic safety requirements, and once again in July 2016 for its failure to halt the leak of contaminated water. Six years after the initial disaster, the reactors at the number one Fukushima plant remain active. It continues to produce wastewater at the rate of up to 400 metric tons a day, which it stores in massive tanks. TEPCO has not announced any long-term strategies to deal with this ever-increasing contamination.